I first thought of my project when I saw a picture of a boy in Ghana having to drink contaminated water. And I learned that contaminated water kills over 3 million people every year. I wanted to create a safe and effective water filter that could solve this problem. But I had to make sure that any water filter I created was first of all cheap and secondly made of locally available materials. I'm really interested in military history and I read that they use chitis and bandages in the army because they'll cause the platelets and soldiers' blood to close the wound faster. I wondered if chitosin could have some application in water filtration. I wanted to create a graphene sand composite, so I developed a new method, which uses three things, sand, sugar, and a source of heat. And after two heating cycles, I produced a graphene sand composite. Then I wanted to functionalize the graphene with chitosin, so I combined the GSC with chitosin and pressure cooker in the process called hydrothermocarbonization, which is a simulation of the process through which coal is made. This is what I used in my water filter, the Novos. And you can see that the chitosin molecules here protrude from the main graphene structure. This opens up many more binding spots for contaminants. Novos's average filtrate of 117 ppm is comparable to the 115 measurement of tap water. The Novos was also effective on salt, glucose, and iron oxide. The Novos effectively removed mixtures from water, especially compared to the ineffective GSE filter, and bacteria were also completely eliminated from the water. The Novos is simple to produce using just a few simple steps in heating cycles, and Raman spectroscopy and SEM imaging also identified that chitosin functionalized graphene had been produced. The Novos can be constructed for under $2, and with just three simple materials, you can produce a water filter that turns this dirty water into this clean drinking water.